Hello, hello. Got a cheeky Sunday shift in. Should be a nice easy day today. We're setting up the SME. Those of you who don't know, the SME is um, it's the anti-collision system. So and, and for the boundary, so uh, it's a system that stops the the cranes crashing into each other. So there's two cranes on this site. We've got like a we have like a screen that's up. It's not at the moment. It's got to be set up. We have a screen that shows us the map of the site and, and the, where the two cranes are and what they're doing. So it's the the, the SME system stops them crashing into each other. Uh, some of them, one of them, you've got a passive SME or active SME. Passive SME, it lights up on the screen to show you that you're getting too close, and it will give you an alarm. It will beep, but it won't stop you from moving. So an active SME will actually stop the crane from going any further the same as on a boundary so you can't oversell boundaries and go into public areas so uh the SME stops you it'll, it'll let you know when you're near the boundary and, and the active SME will stop you from going over that boundary doing it on a sunday so that it doesn't affect all the other work because it can take a while should do though should do this today he's done the fella's done the other crane so there's, it's very foggy today. There's the other crane there, TC2. I'm up TC1. Um, he's just passed up the Smee man's tool bags. I'll put the pictures up now. It looks like when he was coming out, when he was jibbing out to me, uh, it looked like something out of a bloody a horror movie or something. Like, all, all right, we're out at sea when the old ship comes out, out the mist towards you. Look weird. But um, ah, I get you to meet the man, and he can explain what's going on. He's got run all these cables, got run all these cables out all the way up, up to the end of the jib, I believe, up the A-frame. Uh, he'll put a transmitter on because the two cranes have got to talk to each other, so they know where they are. I'm gonna climb up there in a minute. Oh, there he is, James. And climb up there in a minute, and uh, we'll, we'll have a look at what's going on. introduce you to James a lovely gentleman he's going to talk you through you're not on yet don't worry he's going to talk you through exactly what he's going to do for the whole process and then while he's doing it I'll uh, I'll commentate a bit later on all right cool. how are James Hi. I'm James from SME UK um, I'm sitting in the anti-collision at the moment um, we'll be sticking this on the jib uh, this is our locking sensor so our system will detect where the crane arm is in conjunction with the crane arm on the other crane um, yeah and then the activation will kick in and cut the crane off if they come too close to each other. Is it? What else do you do? You've got to program it all in? We've got program, we've got to fit a slew sensor, wire into the electrical cabinet, uh, yeah. put the screen on, fit a radio on the A-frame. I've already put the Wi-Fi signal over there. Yeah, so a few hours. Is that, wi is that Wi-Fi for me? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah? Oh, sweet. So you've got to run all the cables. Where's that cable go? Uh, this is for the slew sensor. Right. So it goes from, uh, sorry, luffing sensor. It goes from the luffing sensor, following all the, see the blue cable, I'm going to follow that all the oh, way yeah. down yeah, yeah, yeah. to your electrical cabinet down there. Sweet. So it will plug into a box that we've got. Okay, <laughs> good man. Nice one, thanks cool. for that. No worries. Here he is, look, he's out there now. He's got a drill into um, a plate on the platform to fit his box. He's got two, see he had two clips there, two carabiners for his harness. That's because you, you've got to be connected at all points. So when you're when you're climbing up a frame and stuff like that, see you've got all the um, the uprisers on the railing there. You, you obviously can't slide it past certain areas. So you have to unclip. So while you unclip, you have to have one another one clipped on elsewhere, and just keep doing that as you're moving on. They do that on up the jib as well when you have to walk the jib and the services and thorough inspections and stuff like that. So yeah, doing this stuff. He said he's never been up a crane this big, so he's quite interested, he's quite excited about it. It's a big old crane, I haven't been up here actually. Yeah, it's quite a big, quite a big um, hoist like this compared to what we normally have. The rats around there, on the old winch, quite a big drum. Normally you have to, ins you, you do your checks, you do your inspections, you check for like, like all these bits of thread 
on, on the wire there, make sure they're not frayed. This is brand new, this crane, so it shouldn't be anything. Um, same with the, the luffing rope. So I'm flat stick, so I've jibbed all the way out there, laid it down so that he can go out. He's not going out too far, so he hasn't needed it all the way down. So there's not much rope on this because it's all the way out. So you can see the grooves that it's, it lays in. Go around this side. It comes out there, rolls out there, goes all the way up, and then you've got what's called a bicycle up there, which is like a set of sheaves, which sends all the other ropes out from the top of the A-frame. You can see them there to the end of the jib. I think that's a bicycle there, actually. I'm not too sure. See that bit there, that block. Yeah, so that jib there is 40 tonnes worth of jib, so all of that is holding that jib up basically, 40 tonne, mad isn't it? That's why you need thick rope like this, see, it's my finger there, quite a big rope, it's got all his gear. Is the other crane, he's gone down, sugar. Because mm -hmm. um, we had a we had um, a driver cover yesterday and um, we got, got handheld radios because they haven't set up the system yet. So the driver went off and he didn't take his radio down and he left it on, so he's dead. So he's, got, yeah, he's had to go down to get another radio, crash radio, to be able to talk to me. <coughs> So I'm going to head down now because I'm actually quite cold. I've got some things to do. So I'm going to head down now. I'm going to let him do his stuff. And uh, speak to him in a minute. Oh, I'm in the comfort now. I'm in the comfort of the cab. It's nice and warm in here. Oh, he said it's going to be about an hour out there running his cables and setting up and stuff like that. So uh, before he comes into the cab and does, does his bits and pieces. He'll have to, he's got to put a screen up here. I think he'll be out there. He might have put it down there, actually. We'll see. Um, so, while he's doing that, what am I going to do with myself? Uh, well, I could read my book. Book here. Fiona Cummings, Rattles, a psychological filler. Actually, I don't know this lady, but I've met her. She's a local. To me she lives local to me but i met her at a um, talk she did and she's helped me out with a couple of things actually some advice on things to do with journalism as well uh well i'm thinking of i'm thinking of on my website pu publishing like construction news but i don't know anything about journalism so i've just asked some people about it so she's helped me out it's a good book that or what i might do is do some work on my laptop I'll show you what I'll get up to. I've got my old uh, laptop pad up here, so this is what I'll bring up here. Just put the, because I like using a mouse. So I set that up. Ooh, it's actually quicker and easier to use the mouse than to use the old pad. Here we go. You see me? Hello. Got J-Rev writing on him, J-Rev writing logo. I haven't changed that because uh, that's me. Um, that's my freelance uh, business. Not that I do a lot of freelance work, but now and again. So you can check that out. J-Rev writing on that website. You see my um, short stories and stuff like that, and poetry that's on there that I've had published. Um, you know, Richard. Oh, yeah. Hello, mate. You in the canteen, yeah? I'm just in the offices swapping out the radio, uh, swapping out the batteries for the radios. Oh mate, no worries, I can hear you loud and clear there. Alright, oh, good stuff. Give me, a, give me a shout when you need me mate, and I'll, uh, I'll, well, give me about 15, 20 minutes notice. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So he's gone down to the, he's in the office, he's just trying to change the radio, as I said, because uh, his battery's dead on the crash radio. Uh, so he's just going to chill out down there, and then when we need him, We'll um, call him to come out here because what I've got to do is this all gets set up and then I've got to. 
I've got a jib out towards him, so he's got to face me, and we've got to line up for each other, and I'll jib out towards him, or jib out towards me, or both, to where we're about a metre away from each other on the jib, and then James will set up his thing, he'll, he'll point that in, so he'll tell the cranes that uh, that's where they are, and that'll be the marker point. Uh, we haven't got to do boundaries on here because we can't really reach the boundaries here. I think he can actually. I'm not sure. Yeah, fucking, I can't believe that, Jimmy. Fucking hell. Screams all floppy. Fucking mother tears fucking off the fucking floor. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Hell. Fucking hell. Mud, grease, Moan. grease from the slew ring, everything on the fucking floor. And, uh, yeah, fucking pain in the ass. That's the trouble, isn't it, mate, when you get covered drivers here, it's just a nightmare. Yeah, well, fucking, you was all, you was all right with Peter, though, weren't you? Peter's fucking don't do all that shit. Peter's a good lad, mate, he's well trained. Mate, fucking very well trained, I can't believe it, man. Fucking annoying, I've just cleaned the floor now, but there's all mud and shit by the window. Oh, oh for fuck's sake, fucking... I ain't got enough cable ties to put the screen back up. It's just a ball ache, mate. Yeah, why would he have cut the cable ties anyway? What's he done that for? No, he hasn't cut them. He hasn't cut them, but I think he's tried moving the screen. And as he's tried moving the screen, he's moved the screen, but the cable ties stayed where it was. So, you know, I don't know if you're on your screen, but you've got like little foam corners on the... Uh, on the corner of the screen up the back to protect the window. It's it's ripped off one of them and obviously just fell off the fell off the corner. So yeah, the cable tires come off the corner and then so now it's all floppy, but it won't stay up now because that foam's gone. Oh fucking nightmare mate. Nightmare. Anyway, I'm I'm fi I'm actually filming a minute. You're actually all your moaning here is actually on YouTube. So you're you're famous. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's good entertainment. <laughs> Go out. Yeah. So he's he's having a whinge about the other driver that covered on Saturday because um just load of shit all over the floor. Some drivers just just a nightmare. Make your cabs up. you got you gotta think that we're up here all day. So you make it your home, don't you? Make it tidy, you have your creature comforts up here. Keep try and keep everything clean. But some release drivers come in and they don't take their boots off so they wade all this shit from the site into the cabs all over the floor. So that's what he's done. Grease from the slew ring he's put he's got in the cab. And um yeah, as I say, he forgot to he didn't turn the radio off when he went down to that dive. So yeah, he's having a little a little Sunday morning moan up. Sunday morning, double bubble, eh? Guess what? It's brightened up now. Oh, lovely and warm now. He's just giving me some news there. Um, he was just drilling up there, as you could see earlier. Um, but his drill's broke. It's fucked. I think the, the plate, because it's such a big crane, the plate with the metal is too thick. He's broken the drill, so he can't fix the transmitter or whatever it is that communicates with that other crane. So we're not going to be able to line up, as I said earlier, line up and jib out towards each other. But he's he's going to do everything else. He's just feeding the cable through there, as you can see. This cable goes through that hole into the back panel, which is in there. He's got the door open now. That's where all the, uh, where all the electronics are in the back. They'll show you that in a bit. Yeah. So he's going to do that. So while I'm waiting now, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill in my... Um, the checkbook, weekly check book, our blue book here, it's called the F91. Well, we're all done here now. Um, as I say, we can't finish the job because um, James just fucked his drill up. So you, <laughs> so you, so you can't, you can't uh, jib out to the other crane, but um, he's got his gear on, he's going to say goodbye. He's got his two blades, you're going to carry them both down? Oh, yeah, you, that'd be right. How many have you got? Just to put the other one inside. Ah, oh yeah, because yeah, you've got, you ain't got anything in it now. Yeah. How much that weigh? Uh, about 10 kilo, I reckon. Oh, no, that's not too bad. It's alright. Nice. Alright. 
See you later, mate. Yeah. Nice one, top man. So it's him gone, so that's us done now for the day. Five past eleven. Happy days. Get home for a bit of lunch, then watch the football. Tottenham Liverpool today. Everyone, I'm proud of you. And remember, like, subscribe, and comment, will ya? Laters. Thank you.